Hey everybody, and welcome to, I think it's my second iteration of Northern Lion Answers Your FAQs. I do these periodically when there's stuff going on with the channel that I think you guys should know about. Again, as usual, this is all positive begins. news, at least in my mind. The background footage here is a game that I played in Dota 2 about, you know, half an hour ago. Uh, I'm going to spoil it for you, this game goes pretty poorly, but uh, it makes for some nice background footage so that I can talk over and hopefully distract you from the fact that I don't play very well in this game. Because this was definitely not suitable for like a Northern Lion Plays type video. And we'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit later in the video. But first, let's start with the most common questions that I've been getting about my channel over the past month or so. First, now that you have this new computer, will you return to Dungeons of Dreadmore? Uh, the answer to that is unfortunately no, and there's a few reasons for that that I would like to explain right now. One of them is that I still have no confirmation that my recording process is going to work with Dungeons of Dreadmore. Uh, if you're not familiar with what happened to that Let's Play the first time through, basically what happened is that every once in a while the recording would work flawlessly, and that's what happened for the first two episodes. But then from then on in there was like an 80% chance that halfway through the video my display driver would crash and perhaps would stop recording and the, the, the recording would just be t completely destroyed. Uh, I've gotten this error a few times with my new video card and fraps, so I don't necessarily know that the Dungeons of Dreadmore Let's Play would work. Uh, I haven't gotten the error with Dungeons of Dreadmore, I haven't played that on my new computer yet, but um, I've gotten it on some certain other game, so I have no guarantee that it's going to work. Also, I just kind of think that, you know, that train has sailed with respect to Dungeons of Dreadmore. I don't play it that much anymore. Uh, it's still a great game, but I don't necessarily feel like I want to sink, you know, the 30 to 40 hours that might be required for me to get a, a good Let's Play of that. Uh, you know, up on YouTube. That being said, still love Dungeons of Dreadmore. I think the guys at, at Gaslamp Games are, are really good guys. But uh, don't expect to see any more Dungeons of Dreadmore content from me. Second, uh, this is more of a recent question because this video just went up yesterday. Will you let's play Legend of Grimrock, which is that rogue, or not rogue like really, but dungeon crawler that came out for Steam, or is coming out for Steam, I guess, next week. It's still not quite out yet uh, for the public. Uh, the answer to that, I don't want to say no, uh, but I don't have any plans to yet. I might in the future, but it's one of those games uh, that's very puzzle-heavy. And as you saw, like, all the comments on the video, they're like, You idiot, you missed another Switch at, like, 29.30 into that video. Uh, puzzles are not necessarily my forte, particularly when I'm doing it blind. So if I am going to Let's Play that, I'll have to actually beat the game first, and then I'll, uh, you know, go through it on camera a second time, or maybe even a third time, because I want to make sure that I had all the puzzles actually memorized. Uh, and that would take a little bit of the fun out of it, I think, because I know a lot of people like seeing people struggle with things, but I don't like wasting my time that much, and I kind of I feel wasting other people's time with that as well. Um, but we'll see. I mean, it's definitely I'm enjoying the game so far. I haven't beaten it. I'm, I'm less than halfway through, uh, but it is fairly short. So I'm not going to say no. I'm going to give this a, a maybe, which I know is not a conclusive answer, but hopefully that's good enough for a lot of you. Third question, very similar to the first two. Uh, as soon as that Dark Souls Let's Play ended, I got a lot of questions. Will you Let's Play Demon Souls? And I've even gotten some very generous offers from people uh, to actually send me a copy of Demon Souls. And I can't remember your usernames, but if you were, were one of those people, thank you very much. Unfortunately, I don't own a PS3, so uh, unless Demon Souls is coming to 360 or PC anytime soon, I uh, do not expect to see a Let's Play of Demon Souls from me. Related question. After that Dark Souls Let's Play ended, uh, do you have any more plans to do more, like, Dark Souls videos in the vein of, you know, a New Game Plus Let's Play, or maybe a New Game Let's Play with a, a different kind of character, maybe a caster of some sort? And the answer to that question is also no. Uh, the, the game is just too similar the, the second time through. There wouldn't be very much more to show you that I haven't showed you before beyond that new combat style. So, you know, that Let's Play has the potential to be, like, 20 hours long. I don't know how I would fill a stream of consciousness style commentary for 20 hours when I've already gone over the areas in the game. That being said, uh, there is the potential that Dark Souls, is going, Dark Souls is going to be announced for PC soon. If you're not familiar, check out the Dark Souls page on Facebook. They have this announcement that supposedly they have this wall in front of it, and the more likes it gets, the, the more the wall breaks down. But I've heard from, you know, somewhat credible sources that the wall is just going to come down on April 12th and reveal some kind of special announcement about the future of Dark Souls. And the buzz, or the hope at least, is that that is going to be a PC release for Dark Souls, which would be awesome. And if Dark Souls does come out on the PC, I, there's always an opportunity or a chance for me to potentially uh, do some more content. Maybe even like a let's look at of Dark Souls on PC, just to cover the differences between 
uh, Dark Souls 360 or PS3 and Dark Souls on the PC. But anyway, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Just noticed as I was watching the video here, a comment that comes up occasionally in the Dota 2 videos. Hey Northern Lion, there's like a black screen for two seconds every now and then in your Dota 2 videos. This is just a, a fraps thing. Don't sweat it. I mean, these are like hour-long games. You should be able to handle a few seconds of blackness. <laughs> it's not a, a catastrophic video game error. Or video error, I should say. But, oh, you know, at the same time, I'll, I'll work on fixing that. I think it just, I need to get it matched up a little bit closer in Sony Vegas, but I'm not going to bore you with all those details. Now, I've uh, said no to, like, seven Let's Plays of the first few questions here, so a natural question might be, well, what the fuck is your next Let's Play going to be then? And, you know, I like to keep this fluid and say things like, I don't really know what it's going to be, but for once I actually have a really good idea, but it would be no fun to just announce it right here on camera. But I'm going to drop some sev several very non-subtle direct hints uh, about what it's going to be. It's going to be an Xbox Live arcade indie release that I'm very excited about. And if you follow me on Twitter, I tweet about it uh, fairly frequently. Coming out sometime in April. And it's not Trials Evolution, although I probably will. Maybe, you know what, now that I say it, maybe I will play some Trials Evolution because that's probably going to be fun. I'll put aside my hatred of Ubisoft temporarily to play a good game like Trials Evolution. But I've got another one. Perhaps not planned, but definitely thinking about um, playing this game. And I think I'd really get a kill here. This is like the lone bright spot in my game. Is that when Tidehunter dove too deep here, I managed to get a stun on him and let the tower take him out. Anyway, so yes. Coming out sometime in April, high profile indie release a tweet about. Number five, and this is probably the most asked question I've gotten in the past month. Hey Northern Line, Immortal HD wants to do a video with you. So what's the deal with that? Uh, if you're not familiar, Immortal HD is another YouTube commentator, commentator uh, and he mentioned in one of his similar videos to this, like a mailbag type video, that I was one of his favorite YouTube commentators, which is very flattering. So all of the people that watched that video were encouraged to kind of harass me, and I mean that in a positive way, and say, hey man, you should do a co-commentary with Immortal HD. For those of you who are, are waiting on some kind of news, or at least recognition that I'm aware of it, there's that black screen again, uh, I am indeed aware of it, I've gotten in touch with Immortal, and uh, he was talking about doing some kind of Dark Souls content, which I'd, uh, like, working together on some kind of Dark Souls content, which I'd really be interested in. There's gonna be some technical issues with that that I think are gonna be, they need to be worked around, let's put it that way, like, I, I, I can't just, like, fly to his house and co-commentate Dark Souls with him. But provided we can get around those, yeah, I'm excited about uh, about making that happen. I would love to provide some some co-commentary for Dark Souls and you know, kind of introduces the introduce the two audiences to one another. So that is what's happening with that. Now let's talk about some Dota 2 stuff because obviously my channel has I wouldn't say shifted focus, but uh, there is some Dota 2 commentary going up in addition to other regular stuff like the Binding of Isaac. Let's look at Dark Souls invasions and so on and so forth. Uh, one comment I get from a lot of these videos is, I do not understand Dota 2 at all. Uh, I still enjoy watching the videos because, well, for whatever reason, I find you entertaining. Your voice helps me fall asleep, keeps my baby from crying, who knows. Um, will you ever make a Dota 2 tutorial series that might make it easier for your fans to understand what's going on? And the good news here is that I actually have been, like, really brainstorming. I am totally screwed here. I am brainstorming, um... A Dota 2 tutorial series, but I kind of had to think of how I'm going to do it, and I can't believe I survived there. Now, the reason I can't just, like, say that I'm going to do a Dota 2 tutorial series is because I'm not that good at Dota 2. I have close to 500 hours sunk into the game now, but that still makes me very much a novice when it comes to this game. I mean, this is a game that people have been playing for, like, seven years. That being said, I could do some beginner-level tutorials, but I am just thinking about uh, kind of the direction I want to take. Do I want to make them short form or long form? Like two minutes, something like very quick, maybe give a tip about a common mistake that I see at very low-level pub games. Uh, or a little bit longer form, like maybe a whole gameplay-length video guide to a hero or something like that. And do I want to make them serious and more educational, or do I want to make them more entertaining, or a mix of both? So that's something that's going to take a little while for me to... Uh, kind of conceptualize, but once I get that down, I, I am interested in making a Dota 2 tutorial series. And don't worry that the, the channel is not going to become uh, like a Dota 2 focused channel. It's always going to have a mix of content, but like Dota 2 stuff is going to pop up now and then because I do play it a lot. And uh, you know, I think it's a game that's going to be really popular, so I'm excited to be kind of not necessarily an early adopter of playing the game, but uh, somewhat on the uh, on the cutting edge. 
Not to toot my own horn, of course. Uh, if you do want more, like, Dota 2 tutorial type videos, go check out youtube.com slash Purge Gamers. Purge does a ton of Dota 2 commentaries, ranging from, like, casting public level games and pointing out mistakes that happen a lot, uh, playing individual heroes and giving insight into a strategy and, like, moment-to-moment -moment decisions, as well as uh, cash casting professional level games. I was so frustrated uh, that Lycan didn't come with me on this skill. And then, that was a pretty poor swap, but I ended up basically getting screwed. Anyway, that is all I really have to say. Well, you know what, there's one more question that comes up a lot. Uh, and that's, like, will you play Dota 2 with your fans? And the answer to that is absolutely 100% yes, but I'm, I'm gonna think of something to organize that a little bit better, if that makes sense, because, you know, I, I hold in-house games sometimes in Dota 2, and in-houses are, like, not public matchmaking. It's where you get 10 people together and then play 5v5. And, uh, without fail, every single one of those games has been horrible. So I want to get something a little bit more organized, and, I don't know, you'll, you'll know as soon as I know, let's put it that way. So, this is a good time to mention, I, I, these are all the questions that I had to answer today, or I had uh, written down to answer. Uh, if you have any other questions for me, the best way to reach me is not via YouTube Your message. The best way to reach me is to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter address is at sign Northern Lion LP. Uh, so it should be very easy to figure out. Man, that is a loud ping. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook at Northern Lion, facebook.com slash Northern Lion, but I don't really check that that often anymore. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. So as always, if you have more questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter. And if demand calls for it, I will make some more videos like this. Always you know, fun for me to, to keep you guys updated on the channel. And yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.